Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dana and today I have for you this cranberry and orange loaf for which I'm gonna use 115 grams of butter and I wish I had a, um, a room temperature one. Unfortunately mine is quite cold but I'm gonna make the best out of it. 200 grams of sugar, 120 milliliters of orange juice, and I'm gonna use the zest as well. Two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, 210 grams of flour, one uh, teaspoon of baking powder. I have it here in this container. One quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda, a pinch of salt, of course and 110 grams of yogurt natural one unsweetened and 110 grams of uh, fresh cranberries you can use fresh frozen or even the ones that are sugar coated if that's what you have over the fruits i'm gonna put one tablespoon of flour just to coat them in this way when i'm gonna bake the cake the fruits will not go to the base of the cake so they will be well distributed all over i wash the orange and i'm gonna grate the zest only the yellow part because the white one is pretty bitter and now i'm gonna juice it as well and i'm gonna use uh, only uh, 120 milliliters of, of juice. Remove the pit. I put the butter in a bowl and as you can see my butter is pretty cold but if you have a mixer it's gonna be easier or make sure you take it out from the fridge before you make the cake so we'll have time to, to soften up. I will add sugar and this will help me uh, soften it up uh, faster. Uh, I keep mixing it, rubbing it with the sugar. So eventually we'll soften up. I will start adding eggs one at a time and mix them in uh, really well. After uh, adding every egg, make sure that you incorporate it uh, really well and mix really well. Again, a mixer would have been uh, handy in this stage, but do not give up. <laughs> Add a second egg and I mix it in as well. Add yogurt now. I will add orange juice and this will give such a nice flavor to this uh, cake. It's like a wintry cake, soon holidays will be here. So yeah, make sure to add vanilla extract. Do not skip this step. Orange zest, finely grated. Also lots of flavor, so the cake will smell really nice when you're gonna bake it. And now I will add all dry ingredients, baking powder, baking soda, salt. So all dry ingredients and incorporate uh, flour uh, in, in the batter. I will switch to a spatula now making sure that all the flour is well incorporated and I will add fruits and I'm gonna uh, mix them in uh, in the batter as well fold them in this is the word that I was looking for but yeah 
and in the meantime also preheat the oven we'll have to bake this uh, cake in the oven at 180 uh, celsius or 350 fahrenheit put the batter in a loaf tin mine is um, um, one that uh, is coated so I don't need to line it with uh, baking paper but uh, if you uh, have one th that might stick make sure that you line it with some baking paper um, so you're gonna take even the cake easier out of the tin put the cake to bake in the oven for about 40 minutes make sure you do the toothpick test and look at this amazing color and I cannot describe how good it smells while this is cooling down slightly I'm gonna make a glaze and I have here 50 grams of uh, powdered sugar and I'm gonna add over it gradually uh, almost dripping as you can see orange juice freshly squeezed and keep on mixing I don't want this to be too runny or too thick so add the uh, orange juice gradually also for some flavor and uh, will help with the consistency a bit of vanilla extract and a bit more orange juice I will take the, the cake out of the tin. On a serving plate. And I will drizzle that glaze all over it. When the cake will cool down, the glaze will, uh, will um, uh, harden and you're gonna be able to slice and serve the cake uh, really, really nice. Uh, the cake smells delicious and it's so easy to, to prepare and uh, maybe you can put these on your recipe book because holidays are uh, just around the corner. I sprinkle a bit of orange uh, uh, zest on top of it and uh, just let it uh, cool down completely. Thank you for watching. I really hope you're gonna try the recipe and let me know in the comments uh, your thoughts. Uh, see you here next time with another recipe. Until then, find reasons to smile. Bye bye.